Hello everyone, my name is Marius and I'm going to quickly show you around Nextplot, which is a CLI tool that we just recently open sourced and you can find it on our GitHub. So just head over to the repository. You will also find all the installation instructions, which is just pip install Nextplot. And uh, I'm going to show you around today what it's useful for and I'm going to quickly motivate why we implemented it in the first place. Uh, so we had it for quite long, but just recently open sourced it. And uh, it's been useful to us because we were facing like different kinds of input and output formats when uh, while working with our routing engine. And they were all JSON, but the like the location information was always in different places, for example. So for example, it could be like we have latitude, longitude, which is in position within a route within vehicles. And you will see that the example that I'm going to show you next uh, is actually already different to this example. And uh, in the end, we were always interested in visualizing these uh, outputs, for example, for, for Solver, uh, that, you know, those are roots. And we were interested in how do these roots actually look like. So we want to quickly visualize them. And it wasn't really, it was very cumbersome to always uh, come up with a new plotting script because the output format changed a little bit around, for example, or uh, to always change the output around if, if it was possible. Um, to include like a GeoJSON that we could copy paste to some, uh, some website or something. So uh, we wanted something to more quickly get these insights and also get more context of the solution and so on um, in combination like, like the data uh, in combination with the visualization. And that is why we implemented it. So let's head over to the terminal and actually uh, look at Nextplot and see what it can do. First thing, let's run dash dash help and uh, to give an overview of what it actually can do. So you will find that it has a number of subcommands like root, cluster point, etc. Uh, we're going to look at root today, which is used for plotting roots. Obviously, cluster is the same just for cluster. And point is actually used for simply visualizing points that can actually be very, very helpful. Um, we used it often to uh, visualize input data. So for example, for overheating vehicle routing solver, uh, we got some input data and then visualized these points and quickly were able to see that, for example, there was a mix up in latitude longitude. So one point was on the other half of the planet or in the water, um, definitely not so, uh, definitely somewhere where it didn't belong or in the different region, etc. That can happen easily. And it's always nice to rule that out or to find that out quickly. Um, before, you know, uh, working or d looking for different bugs or different, uh, let's not say bugs, but different uh, things being off somewhere else. Then there's also a progression mode. So progression is used to uh, visualize solution value over time, for example, when comparing two different solvers or two different model formulations and so on. Um, that can also be useful. And GeoJSON simply plots GeoJSON on a map and test is used for testing these JSON path commands we're going to look, look at in a second. Uh, so like I said, uh, the typical use case is you have a solution file that you didn't really see before and you just want to visualize uh, the routes that are contained in it, for example, in this case. So uh, this one you can see uh, includes a number of options, configuration of the model, etc., version of the solver, things that we're not really interested in at this point. We're actually only interested in the routes, so we can find them within solutions apparently, then vehicles, and then there's route. So that uh, that is good. That is what we need. So we simply need to tell Nextplot to visualize this. So entering root mode and uh, first telling Nextplot that the file that we're interested in is solution.json. And then next, we're going to tell it where the roots are. So the JSON path to the root is actually solutions. And solutions is a list, but we're only interested in the last solution. And then we have vehicles. Here we're interested in all vehicles because we want to, each vehicle is a root basically. And then it's just root. And next, we need to tell it where the X coordinate lives within a root basically. So each element is stop.location.long. And then we also need to tell it obviously the y coordinate, which is simply stop dot 
select location.lat, and that is all. And it's as simple as that to generate a plot of the map, basically, or plot of the routes on a map. Uh, another thing maybe outlined uh, quickly is that we get some basic route statistics here. Obviously, next uh, plot doesn't really know about any kind of notion that the solver or the model had about the uh, like root length, for example. So it simply applies some have a sign and outputs like kilometers and so on, but can still be useful to know how many stops were in a route, etc. And uh, anyway, we're really interested in all these different files that it writes out. Uh, let me quickly show you the plot PNG and the plot HTML is actually the same, just the interactive version. And this is not uh, the map file is actually what we're really interested in. This is not very amazing, but still very useful when you don't have latitude longitude coordinates, but simply like coordinates in a warehouse, for example, that are not um, geolocation or geocoded so uh yeah anyway so for that it's it's useful anyway for us here since we have those we can head over to the actual map and that is what we're mostly interested in here so yeah it's as quick as that we have a visualization of all five of our routes apparently that were in this file um this open street map tile layer gives a lot of context information but i find it a little bit too much for the eye to look at, especially for very large output files with a lot of roots in them. And uh, I really prefer this view. So you, with a high contrast, you can easily see where the roots are and uh, what they look like. And yeah, that is the visual visualization basically. Uh, what I find very useful is that you can actually click on all these stops and you get the contextual information basically. So. Um, for each of these stops, there's further information in this output file, like the end time and start time, which is like ETAs, um, when you arrive at the stop, when you leave at the uh, leave the stop, or uh, are done processing it, and that can be very useful. For example, if you wonder why a stop is where it is, and then you realize that, for example, if you have the window information on here, like a hard window in which the stop needs to be serviced, and then you can better tell why it's where it's at, for example. And obviously other things as well. Um, so you will have that contextual information in this plot. All right, then let's head to the terminal or back to the terminal and just uh, for fun also visualize it in different other ways. So for example, I could use the cluster mode um, to visualize the same file, um, just replacing root with cluster and reopen this map. And then you will see that I get a plot of clusters. And obviously you can also do that with a with an output file that is actually clusters and not a root. But this is still interesting because uh, also for roots it can be uh, interesting how much they overlap if you, for example, want to avoid that. And again you get the plot of all these uh, points, individual points, and uh, yeah, and obviously also the convex hull. And now let's head back to the terminal I saved one further command which is this one and while it's running actually it's not that slow but anyway so uh, again plotting roots and um, pointing to the same solution and this time telling it actually that this is the next root output format so I don't need to repeat all these uh, JSON paths again um, because this format is actually known and then simply telling it to sort the roots, root colors, basically use a different color scheme and uh, provide like start and end markers and use animation as a root direction indicator. And um, lastly, use routing kit, which is another, uh, not routing kit itself, but basically go routing kit, which is another uh, open source tool um, that we published at some point. And that will allow us to use an OSM PBF file to actually come up with paths for our roots, even though we didn't have them. So the solver worked with path information. I know that because I ran that before um, and provided that input. Um, but anyway, so this gives us, um, obviously that's also still the, just an estimate because this is the car profile on some OSM file, um, but it still is a good uh, or good first 
glance at what the looks uh, routes could look like when running them through an actual pathing engine not using have assigned like it used before and obviously this <laughs> this visualization with the animation is a little nervous but it gives us uh, an indication of in which direction the route actually goes we also on exploit also support simple arrows for that but uh, <laughs> i find this one funny also, uh, we get, like, as promised, these start and end markers for all of our routes. So this is the first stop in route 5. And, yeah, that's that. And that already concludes uh, my presentation here. I hope this is useful to you as it was to us. And we're really interested in getting feedback around this or uh, to shape this and, you know, uh, add something else to it if you find something useful. Let us know. And again, head over to our GitHub and just install it, try it, and give us feedback. Thank you.